Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Runner Overview. We have again an early video because I got an early access to it. For some reason I got more opportunity in the last month than in the whole history of my channel. I don't know what's up with that, but I'm not gonna complain and I hope that keeps going. <laughs> so Runner is an action driving combat game where quite literally you're running away on your motorcycle, maneuvering your way through the city in the traffic, all while causing mayhem using various weaponry. Based on the concept the game is pretty cool. For some it can be quite intense because it's like a high speed, fully dynamic gameplay so it can get intense. We've had driving games on the quest store with distraction features, though not necessarily like that with a story and an actual beginning and the end. Also somehow it reminds me of Swarm, you know the swinging game. Not because of the art style and gameplay but the arcade system and just feeling like defeating enemies on your way and some boss encounters. I don't know how to explain it, it somehow seems familiar to me. In the beginning I did struggle a little bit with remembering the controls because there's a lot of them but in a way that there's a lot of combinations to make things work and and using the full potential of the motorbike. I was just confused about your own movement because you could easily solve this by letting your hands go from the motorcycle because they're essentially stuck in two modes that you're driving the thing and then you're shooting but it's like switching in between. It doesn't really make sense to me personally having no freedom with your hands whatsoever. I also found it not relatively hard but I actually couldn't pass even the first level because it was like too long and due to the lack of checkpoints I had to start over like 15 minute sessions. But besides that, the graphics, environments, everything else seem relatively good. Just some small tweaks to the gameplay will make it a really great title. What's the playthrough potential of it? Well, I'll have to see if I actually can pass the level because you'll find out and even for my skills it's not that easy. <laughs> Let's go to the gameplay. Mina, this is Vice. Do you read? Skag almost got the drop on me. Streets are crawling with them. Ada, you said we had time. Crackdown started sooner than we thought. I thought we had at least another 26 hours, but since going radio silent, something changed. What about the others? Farid, Kay, and Zara? I'm. No word. Bugs are out in full force. That means server assignments are far behind. Getting hits from from all over your city. Uh, Rounding up anyone running unsanctioned bonds. Sarah and her galactic hostile takeover has some spook to ship. They're consolidating loose ends. Atlas already has the surface roads covered. All the exits. Shewin's toast. I know you're used to dash and trash, but you'll need to handle this one differently. The drop's a Shima. It's the fastest thing I could find on no notice. And you don't have the luxury of being discreet. The hub's got a portable core module. Don't lose it. Why? It's sending me secure telemetry. If you want to stay ahead of Atlas, you're going to have to trust me. That hub's got a pair of checkpoint autos integrated into the controls. Prototypes. They're fancier than you're used to. But you're going to need an edge if you want to get out of there alive. As long as they don't jam, they'll be good enough. So? What's the plan? You got an out for me? Mina, the only way out is through. The thoroughfare. Yeah, that we... Are you out of your goddamn mind? Hear me out. Once you hit the L1, it's a straight shot through the colony to get to the frontier. Sarah's ship is about an hour from Atmo, and I made arrangements to get you... to get all of you back to Neos. But you need to get to the outskirts by dawn. Once you hit the frontier, my contact will have a pickup ready. The thoroughfare is suicide, Vice. Once I hit the first route marker... Once you hit the causeway, they're gonna be all over you. I know. You've got no options left. Tell me something I don't know. It's all a bit... oh my god. A bit confusing. Welcome to the Shin Heavy Industries Interactive User Manual. Let's take a moment to get familiar with your new configuration. <laughs> Press forward on the thumbstick to accelerate. <laughs> Even more? Press back on the thumbstick to slow down. Okay, so the movement is automatic. Press left or right on the thumbstick to steer the bike. <laughs> this is gonna be intense. Keep an 
eye on the shield gauge if you want to keep running. Press the trigger to fire the main gun. I wonder if it would be like, you know, better if you would lean, then you would turn. Press A or X to draw the sidearm from the holster. Press A or X to return sidearm to the holster. The sidearm will reload while attached. Draw the sidearm and press the trigger to fire. Try shooting some of the flashing targets. So we have two types of weaponry, okay. Shoot generator to lower the barrier. That's kinda unnatural. Oh shit. Is there maybe like in options to just grab it? Not necessarily. It's kind of weird, like you have to press the button, but okay. Hold B or Y with sidearm drawn to engage missile sync. Point sidearm at enemy during missile sync to establish missile lock. Release button with lock engaged to launch missile at target. Collect the grenades. It's a lot of like combinations. Press B or Y with sidearm holstered to access grenades. It's like holstered, not holstered. Grab a grenade by holding the grip button. Release the grip button during throwing motion to lob grenade. Hold A or X with the grenade held to shorten fuse time. Grenades are magnetic and will stick to targets. I'm trying to remember. Drive over the rush zone to gain energy. Draw both sidearms to enter rush mode. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Rush mode can be activated whenever the meter is filled. Rush zones will also extend your combo meter. Extend combos for higher scores. Collect the power up. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Click in the thumbstick with sidearm stowed to switch active power up. It's like so many just. It's gonna be confusing. Hold A or X with sidearm stowed to activate saber. Stowed. Are you sure? Sword swipes will deflect or destroy incoming projectiles. Approaching Presidium Therapy, one kilometer. Some things I for sure won't use, like, I would just forget that they exist. Innocent, oops. <laughs> the war design is so cool. The graphics could be better, but... Am I fighting the police? <laughs> I wanted to hide.
Hey! <laughs> Forgetting him stuff. It's like a continuous map. Try to focus on switching stuff and then using it like... I already forgot how to change them. Drive and destroy stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God. The music. Oh, I forgot I have to destroy it. Uh uh. It was a very long level anyways. I'll try to pass unless it's like never ending. <laughs> I think I passed the point where I died. I'm focusing on collecting the shields. That's pretty much what keeps me going.
it so much, like... I'm starting to have my doubts that this is never ending. hard but like in a way that you don't see the end of it i don't think it was advertised as a roguelike so it's a little bit confusing what's the actual progression but the game itself is cool as hell if you can endure being on the bike with high velocity at first the controls get a little bit confusing because there's a lot of switching in between the weaponry then picking up the stuff then steering the bike after some time it's intuitive on the road but you need to be patient it's kind of crazy i did not even pass the first stage it's long like you're in for a long long ride <laughs> the design itself is pretty cool and unique on the quest store there are a few games with combat like that in terms of destruction and driving but this one feels like something that has a point and storyline to it maybe introduce some kind of checkpoints because i'm pretty sure i have to start over and it was like 15 20 minutes of gameplay in that time i did not feel like i did anything honestly <laughs> but all in all very fun release i'll think about the playthrough i'll just need to make sure i'm not gonna drive endlessly <laughs>